This video is going to show you how to make the rocket tube. The materials you're going to need are a tube. It can be either plastic or wooden. You're going to need a sheet of gum tape, which is the same length as the tube. And you'll need another sheet of gum tape that's twice the length of the tube. And this will be the outside of your rocket. So whatever color that is, is going to be the outside color of your rocket. You also need a piece of paper, glue stick, scissors, and a damp sponge. Okay? In order to start this, and you can cut your tubes down to whatever size you want, but we're going to start off with an 11 inch um, rocket tube. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your tube, take the piece of paper, and we're going to roll this paper around the tube. So it's going to end up folding up around here. And what we're doing is we're creating the stiffness of the, of the tube so it doesn't crush on impact. So what I want to do is I don't want to glue it to the tube because I won't be able to get it off. The tube has to come out. Um, but we can take this and we want to glue this part here, being careful not to, to uh, glue the tube. So what I would suggest to do is take the glue stick and glue the outside edge here all the way along the seam. And then, when you get your tube, line up the bottom edge of the tube with the bottom of the paper. And you have to be careful here. You want to kind of tuck it under. And then once you get it going, then you just roll it. When you get to the back end, you're going to take the glue stick again, and you're going to glue that. And you'll just roll it right over the top. So use the tube as the pressure to push it down. You can run your glue along this just to make sure that seam stays. Now make sure at this point that that tube can move in and out of that because we're going to have to remove that tube. Okay? Cap goes back on the glue stick so we don't waste the glue sticks. Now the gum tape, if you're going to get the next one that's the length of the tube, there's a shiny side, that's where the sticky part is, and then the dull side. Now it's very important when you use a sponge that you don't have too much water on it, but you want to have enough water so that it sticks. And again, we don't want to glue it to this tube. This is actually going to be the length of the tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some water on this, take the sponge, wet that down. It's going to become sticky, and you've got to do this kind of quickly, otherwise it's going to dry up on you. And I would line it up with the paper here. And again, all you're going to do is roll that. Okay. If it seems like it's coming up, take the gum tape or the sponge and get the gum tape wet again. All right. Again, it's not stuck to the tube. And you'll notice it doesn't go all the way around the tube. Um, that's okay, but we're, we're just trying to get this uh, set up and stiffened up. Now, with the outside part, what you're going to want to do is take one end and fold it over. It's kind of like making a paper football. What you're going to want to do is you fold that over and crease it so you have that flap and you're going to cut that off. Okay, now you have a 45 degree angle there and if you take your tube and you put that cut end on the edge of the tube and you roll it as you roll this, it's going to roll all the way up and overlap all the way down the end of your tube. Okay? I would not do this all at one time. So when you get this going here, take your wet sponge. I would get probably about four or five inches wet here. Set it on there even. Fold it around. And you're using the tube to roll it. And when you get to the point where it's going to dry out here, right here, you take the sponge, get it wet again, roll it, and use the table as a pressure. Wet it, roll it, wet it. And now you're going to have some extra here, and that's all right because we have to cut this down to length. Okay, and the tube should still slide. And what you're going to want to do on the ends here, using the tube as a guide, because this is not even now, I'm going to use the back end of the scissors and I'm just going to cut the back end of the, I'm not cutting the tube, I'm just laying the scissors along the tube so that I have a straight edge to follow. So we trim that out, and then on the other end, 
however long you want to go if your rocket tube is going to be five inches or six inches you can have it that long or you can have it longer uh, but I'm going to go down and even out this other edge I'm just going to cut off most of the excess here and then I'll line my tube up where I want my cut and then I'm going to cut down and then again using the tube as a guide we're going to go and trim this up you may have to go around a few times in a circle to get it down to where you need to have it. Try to keep the edges clean so they're not bending over. And there's the tube. Now at this point, you don't need the plastic tube away anymore. You can take that and put it away. This is uh, the rocket tube, the body of, the, of your rocket. And at some point you want to put your name on here. Um, you can, if you want to put it on the outside or you can write it on the inside if you want to put your initials inside here, that would work. Okay? And that's how you make the body too.